Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. We have three of pentacles. We have knight of swords. We have wishing. We have six of pentacles. Clarify the three of pentacles. We have the ace of pentacles. Clarify the knight of swords. So we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the king of wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Clarify wishing. Mm, the five of cups. Somebody's like thinking about the past and wishing that they could go back and change things here. Um, and kind of just suffering in silence here. Just replaying everything that has happened. Suffering in silence and a lot of regret. Um, sad. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Death. See, <laughs> either they're feeling this way because you're no longer giving to them. Or if they, for some of you, they linked up with somebody that they worked with. They either linked, somebody linked up with somebody that they worked with thinking that it was going to be something stable um, or an op a really good opportunity or something like that. So somebody could have maybe rushed into something. Yeah, but like maybe somebody did give something to them or was giving something to them. It doesn't even have to be something that they worked with. It could have been just somebody that they like were working, they teamed up with, they collaborated with. I don't know, thinking that it was going to be a good opportunity. So they rushed into something. Um, uh, but maybe that, that if somebody was giving something to them, somebody was being generous, they're no longer being generous. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, yeah, what a catch on the back of the deck. Somebody's obsessed with you while you guys are disconnected. Huh? Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles and what that means for my collective. We have the Nine of Wands. Resilience, defensive. So somebody may be wanting to try to come together with you. Yeah, somebody. So it could be a Taurus or some of you with the hair font. Somebody's wanting to come together with you and team up with you on something now. Wants to have something steady with you. And they may be coming in out of nowhere wanting this with you. Taking some type of action to come in and communicate this to you. Because they're in regret. They can't stop thinking about you. They know that you were you were a good opportunity. But I don't know. What's the six of you may not want this anymore? Tell me about the six of pentacles and death. Awakening. Oh, was it when you stopped giving to them? Was it when you stopped? Yeah, when you stopped giving to this connection, is that when they they realized something? What did that what does this mean for the collective? Lessons. Yeah, somebody is learning. Yep. Somebody had to learn something. Your absence is teaching somebody a lesson or they're learning lessons in your absence or because of your absence, okay? Tell me more. Yep, and now somebody's not happy. Why is the four of cups, the wheel of four, something's changing. What's changing? Sagittarius and Pisces energy. The fool, someone is gonna wanna take a leap of faith and have a new beginning in love. Who's in this four of cups energy? Somebody that's healing, accepting to grow, self-care, care, healthy choices. Somebody's just in the process of healing. They're not having fun, though. They hate it there, but they're doing it. <laughs> <sighs> Again, what does this mean for my collective? Okay, let's, what is this, what is this person in regret about? Replaying the events, suffering in silence, king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and ooh, you know, do they not? Okay, for some of you, <laughs> this person regrets being lustful. So either they they're they're upset that you found out that they they were lustful, or they regret just trying to. It, it could be one of three things. They are they're not happy that you found out about something that they did was that was lustful, or they're. Second, they're maybe upset or they feel regretful for just trying to sleep with you and nothing else. Or third of all, they regret hooking up with somebody. They could also regret trying to make it seem like they just had lustful feelings for you and that there wasn't anything deeper there. 
I don't know. So again, what does this sexual encounter and King of Swords mean for my collective? The Four of Pent. Yeah, they held back from you. Four of Pentacles. Ooh, for some of you, manifesting you. What a catch. See, this person, you know what this person also possibly did? They were in the process, they're in the process of trying to heal. And kind of, they're in the process of learning lessons, but they're they're feeling lonely, they're bored, they're not happy where they're at. So I don't know if this person tried to sleep with you in a means to try like for some of you, they tried to sleep with you in a means to try to keep you. Because they we have what a catch here. They know. They have a fear of losing you and they don't want anybody else to have you. They know your value, okay? This person's like trying to move into alignment to be on your level or something like that. So this person could have done something. Did they try to, they, did they seduce you or they tried to, Hold his eyes, inconsiderate behavior. See, yeah, giving you mixed signals. Tell me more. T see, this person taming a player, trying to resist temptation. Let's see for my collective, the sun and queen of cups. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, the page of swords. They're watching you. Somebody's watching you grow and be happy. And they're watching you just in the self-love energy. And just, they're feeling drawn to you. And it's like they want to, okay? But I feel like this person is trying to resist coming towards you because they know that they can't, they're, they want to be single or they know that they can't give you a commitment. Yeah, what about Ten of Swords? The Three of Wands. But for some of you, they know that they have to be single to come. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Does this person know that they have to be single? They have to move on from something, let something go to be able to manifest something with you? So, but you guys could have been dealing with somebody that had a whole other situation, but they were trying to have something with you at some point. Now this person's in this energy where they know that they got to release that other situation. They know that they need to heal and they know that it's best to stay away from you. Although they feel very drawn to you, although they really, really want to, um... I think before, it's like there were times that this person knew that they had a whole other situation that they had to get sorted out, but they just wanted you so much that they would try, they would, and they wanted to try to keep you around. So they put you in this third party situation, right? Now this person is trying to tame their emotions and their feelings and their hunger for you because they know that they're not ready. They know that they're not fully single or something like that. Tell me more about the energy that this person is in. So we have King of Cups. What about the King of Cups? The Seven of Wands. What about Seven of Wands? And the Queen of Swords. Uh, what's this mean for my collective? Internal Conflict and Ace of Cups. Somebody is, you guys could be in this energy where either somebody is conflicted about you or you're conflicted about whether or not you would even try to have any beginning with this person. Long wait. Putting your life on hold is going to take a while. Okay. And what about Six of Cups? Divinely guided to do what? See, somebody's undecided. But the divine is showing someone, ex so, so showing someone exactly what they need to do. Huh. Give me more clarity about what's going on here. <laughs> what is going on here? So somebody's trying to resist the temptation to come towards you because they know that they're not ready for what it is that you want, but they want you. And I feel like in the past, this person knew exactly what you wanted and knew that they couldn't give it to you, but they wanted to sleep with you. They wanted to still have you in that way. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing here energy of manipulation, but We have knows your worth, okay? Treating you right values you. Tell me more. See? Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Diluting the truth. White lies don't want to hurt you. By what's, What are they diluting the truth about? Second, reconciliation, compromise, forgive. See? I told you. This person always knew. <laughs> wow. You're dealing with somebody that you probably have had an on and off again relationship with. 
they would come in telling you that they were going to treat you better, that they did, you were important to them, that they did value you, that they wanted to reconcile, they wanted your forgiveness, they wanted to compromise, they wanted to work on things, right? See, this is what's happening again, possibly with the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. Somebody's about to rush in here really impulsively saying they want to work on something with you, but they're doing this in a means to be able to sleep with you, but they're going to regret this. This person is in the process of trying to heal and getting their shit together, but they're getting lonely. They're getting horny. They're getting bored. They're discontent where they're at. They want you, but they're not ready for you. So that's when this person starts resorting to manipulation and diluting the truth. They know what you deserve. They just can't give it to you right now, or they don't want to give it to you right now, but they want your body. They want your attention. They want your nurturing and healing energy. What is questions and doubts? It's beyond repair. See, some, I feel like this is you guys. You're not quite sure if you and this person can ever be together or if you can ever forgive them. Yeah, because the foundation has been broken between you and this person. The trust has been broken. So some of you guys may be just feeling like this is hopeless. Like you can never let, things can never be okay between you and this person again. Tell me more about what this means for my collective. We have building a home. Okay, what about that? Boundary check and making lifestyle changes. So you're, you've made it very clear with this person what you want, that you want a family, you want to be together, you want to move in, you want somebody that you can build a life with, right? So you're, you told this person, if it's not that, I don't want, any, I'm not, boundary, that's my boundary right there. If you don't want that with me, then there's no reason for me and you to be dealing with each other or together, all right? Sleeping together, whatever it is, until you make these lifestyle changes to be able to have something stable with me. Yep. You got to get your life together. Yeah, falling in love. What about falling in love? Twin flame love. Yes, this is a twin flame reading. We have checking their messages. Yep. Looking at old messages, hoping you text them. True love. Wow. We have divisive differences, though. And what is this? Friendly love. See, unrequited love, strictly platonic. What is that about? Hmm. This person is very immature because this person cannot understand that you are, you didn't want to have to end things with them. You didn't want to have to leave them behind or stop talking to them. You had to do it because they were immature and they had bad habits and things kept repeating. Negative toxic patterns kept repeating. They, they weren't making any changes. They kept breaking their promises to you. Yep. And like... You, you're very well aware that things will not last long between you. Like things will maybe good, be good between you and this person for a few days or a few weeks or whatever. And things are going to go to shit again because this person is still holding on to this excess baggage. They still have a lot of work to do on themselves. Maybe you do as well. They're still focused on the past. Like they, they want to try to keep things very surface level with you. What does divisive differences and friendly love have to do with my collective? New love and silly games. Oh, making it official. What does this have to do with this person? Choosing to ignore what? Unhealthy connection. Setting a date. Perfect match. Scared of rejection. What in the... Uh, no, this person keeps trying to have something with you and act like they don't have a whole other situation going on. What is up with that third party situation that they've got? What is that? For some of you, it could be somebody somebody that they don't even want. They don't, no longer, they don't want that third party anymore. So they're taking action to do what? See, they're not sure yet. They know that they don't want that person anymore, but they're really not. They're not taking any, any action. They're not making a move. Because they're still confused. What are they not? What are they confused about? Romance. See, what is that about? Work partnership, meet at work. What about it? Excess baggage. Maybe they needs a lot of work living in the past. What about that? Feeling abandoned. What's that with my collective? Not on the same page and obstacles to overcome. Yeah, they got it. Oh, what are these obstacles? Trust your intuition about. Thinking of calling, holding back. See, there. I told you the divine is trying to guide them towards you, but they're not. They're ignoring it. It's like this person knows that the two of you would be a perfect match, but they're trying to like ignore that. 
they're still some of you they're still holding on to an ex and whoever this ex is was somebody that they worked with which i already mentioned that or for some of you they still work with somebody that they used to have a romantic past with huh did somebody that they work with what is excess baggage love gates are open they were still holding on to an ex for some of you it was somebody that they worked with or like somebody that they were like paying bills with or something like that like yeah they will return but this was after they were playing the field i don't think they want to anymore but be careful i told you this person wants to sleep with you they're, they're definitely in some type of a tricky situation because they either work with somebody that they were messing around with or they they're living with somebody and they pay bills with that person i don't know something going on there okay uh let's see what can we use here so we have long distance relationship beginning your journey travel a foreigner clarify what about the traveler lighting the way setting an example the light of their life setting strong boundaries so there's distance distance between you and this person because you're setting strong boundaries and you're setting an example okay tell me more about what this means for my collective Twin flame. Yes, we know this is a twin flame. We have sacrifice. A difficult decision. Aligning priorities must give up something to win. Yeah. Keep opening your heart. Healing old emotional pain. Preparing for new love. Okay. Fan out. Somebody is starting to heal so that they can be open to something more than just something physical. Because this person is very... I feel like their connections that they've been in and possibly even the one that they had with you, it was more like sexual or physical or what they could get from it. Uh, material, superficial, but somebody, this person's healing. Someone's starting to want to be more vulnerable is because what's pushing this person to make this sacrifice. Yeah. Take a risk. Right. Why? creeping doubt someone's still doubtful or hesitant to take this risk but what's gonna push them to do it is it because you are setting these boundaries feels like home says a security comfort zone this is somebody that is having a hard time leaving their comfort zone but the devil's domain obsession addictions poor habits codependency yep It's like somebody's comfort zone is very toxic. Why is negative emotions here? Beauty and the Beast. Major differences. Feeling love life is cursed. Desperately looking for a true love. Same for this person. Something is coming to an end. Break up, divorce, clearing out away the old, cutting something or someone off. Yeah. Breaking some rules. They're cutting off some type of situationship or non-traditional relationship where they were manipulated manipulated into thinking that this person was their perfect match or something what somebody was manipulating them or wearing a mask for some of you somebody was doing black magic on them like look how this girl is like somebody did voodoo or whatever hoodoo i don't know somebody was manipulating this person into thinking that they were their perfect match manipulating them scheming and controlling and a bad influence and what's that mean for my collective now? We have she's a unicorn. Yeah, you are one of a kind. Hard to find, irreplaceable. So confidence, success, and enthusiasm, optimism, and fulfillment. Yeah. It's like your energy can't be matched. Ooh, somebody's jealous of you. I feel like somebody is also very jealous to lose. They don't want to lose you. But yeah, meant to be together. See, you and this person were meant to be together. Obviously, if you were are twins. But yeah, bad eating habits. Focus on your health. Careful who and what you let in. Tell me about unhealthy choices. Calm storm. 
self-controlled. They're telling... Yes. This person is going to be encountering a new energy of yours where you're not triggered anymore. Like, you're going to be more discerning with this person. And you're not going to be acting phased. Maybe you're already acting unfazed. And you're just very, like, in control of your emotions. And you're not re reacting to negativity. And, like, this is a new energy. This person's not used to this. Yeah, quicker than expected what? Yeah, no, what's happening quicker than... Yeah, some type of recognition or change. Positive changes. Yeah, an epiphany. Someone's going to get clarity that what... Some, about something about their soul family. What about their soul family? Yeah, not giving up easily, wanting to conquer, fighting for your love. So somebody definitely was at a crossroads. Tell me more about whoever this voodoo doll person is. Somebody that was a burden. <laughs> Clinging to an unhealthy relationship, carrying old baggage, responsibilities. Well, tell me about perfect match. Unfoldment. Spiritual awakening, breaking free and blooming, connecting with the higher soul. Maybe they've just met their match in you. And it's like something about, did them meeting you break them out of some type of manipulation and some type of illusion and some type of like black magic or something like that? I don't know how to explain this to y'all, but it's like when they met you, if somebody had them under their spell and was controlling them and manipulating them and like was influencing them in some way, uh, yeah, using them, scheming, when they met you, something chat you started awakening this person and showing them how they have been being manipulated and how somebody was controlling them and how they had people around them that were terrible influences to them and they could not see this otherwise yeah for some of you this is their family Ooh, so you started awakening this person like they started looking at everybody that they were dealing with and everyone around them differently once you started coming into their life because what did that one card say it didn't it just say you were you set an example yeah. What are those what are those other cards over there say? I put them away, but it's like something about you. They've never met anybody like you before. You showed them like what genuine, like a genuinely good person is. Like they they've never met anybody like you. They feel like coming meeting somebody like you is hard to find and they can't replace you. They don't have anybody in their life like you. They feel like you're very confident. They feel like you're very successful and enthusiastic. They feel like you're like a light. You see how this girl has this like sun around her? They feel like you're like a light. And they're around a lot of dark people, a lot of negative people. And yeah, didn't I just say you were a light lighting the way for this person? I'm telling you, you're helping them get out of some type of situation where they've been being manipulated, where they've been being taken advantage of, and they haven't been seeing things clearly wow okay it's all making sense now huh okay let's get in this person's head a little bit uh, this is what i want let's use this deck because i don't want that one right now wow you are changing this person's entire perspective about everybody that they have around them It's like this person didn't, couldn't even see how toxic their, their situation was and how badly they were being treated. But I do feel like they're having a hard, even though they may see that something is toxic, they're still having a hard time. Like they're slowly leaving that situation or setting boundaries in that situation, taking back their power in that situation. I do feel like at some point they are going to, you know, you're also showing them that every other relationship that they've been involved with was for the, maybe for the wrong reasons. It wasn't love. It was lust. It was toxic. And like, they definitely are wounded from their, their relationships with their family or with exes. What did I just say? Family. We have ancestral karma. They are clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. Yeah. Boundaries. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. Yeah, they may have like a boundaryless family or a boundaryless like a but like whoever they have around them. There's like a lack of boundaries there. Yeah, and you're maybe like showing this person that they need. That's a very necessary to have boundaries. The gods favor you. Now is the time your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. Yep. Those people around them could have even been trying to tell you like you were the problem, that you were wrong, and that you were this, this, and this because they wanted to keep your person manipulated. Yeah. 
Time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. We have the fight. I'm telling you, somebody's about to come in and start wanting to, to compete for you or fight for you. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. We have divine intervention. They're experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. Mm, we have, so this was that spiritual. <laughs> so there <laughs> Well, if you've had sexual relations with this person, it's different than what they've had with other people. Their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. Like they're realizing that it's not just that that they yearn for when it's when it comes to you. It's like all you. You know what I mean? I feel like that's something that they really never experienced before. We have mysterious one and we something else flip. Yeah, unseen factors. So we have there's more to this love story, though you cannot see it now. There's still much more to unfold. We have the mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and engaged. Very different from the rest. And we have past life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they'd been waiting for. So, yeah. Didn't I say this person's feeding for you? Insatiable. They have an insatiable thirst. A thirst that no one else but you can satisfy. Crave you more and more. See, but this person knows that they're in a place right now. You need to be careful with associating with this person right now. They may be realizing some things and they may want to be with you and they may have love for you and all those things, but they're not ready yet. They still have more healing to do. They are healing, but they're not healed. You know what I mean? I mean, we're never 100% healed. You know what I mean? We're always healing and working on ourselves and all those things, but this person, you got to be careful because yes, they want you. They really want you, right? But there's still something very unstable about this person. And it's like, until they remove all that toxicity out of their life, until they do that full life detox, they're not going to be able to be stable for you. And they're going to probably end up betraying you again. So it, it just keeps this repeating cycle, this loop. And it's like, every time they do this, they end up in regret. They're like, why, why the hell did I do that? Like, I don't even know why I did that. They got to conquer those habits. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better. Yeah. Stuck in a loop. A pattern has become familiar to them. Um, yeah, they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating. Huh. So what do they need to do? I with the trail. What do they need to do? Mm, yeah, this person knows that you deserve better and that you haven't probably deserved what they've already put you through. Your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves. What I just said. This person knows that you love them. They know that you're genuine. They know that you are a genuinely good person, but they're pushing you away from them because they don't want to hurt you any more than they already have. And they may not say that to you, but that's what is in their, what's, that's what's in their heart when it comes to you. Like they know that they're still very unstable. They know that they still have a lot of work to do in themselves. They know that they're going to, they don't trust themselves with you yet. So it's like, if this person is distant from you, it's intentional. If they're, they're trying to literally intentionally stay away from you until it's like they're trying to protect you from the situation that they're in and from themselves. It's like they want to be able to come towards you and know that they're going to be able to be who you need them to be and who you deserve them, who you deserve. Yeah, I don't know how else to put it. They're being guided back to you. Okay, like. They kind of feel like when you, when the two of you met, they're like, why did I have to meet the collective when my life was like this? You know what I mean? Like They're like, why did I have to meet them when I was in this, when I was in this shit? But what they don't realize was that they met you while they were in the shit to guide them out of the shit. Like you are the light. You're the light. You're showing them the way. You came into their life to show them the way because probably this person was lost. They were blind before they met you. You came into their life to awaken them so that they can get out of this. That's what they're not seeing <laughs> or they don't quite understand that yet. And they have probably this connection with them has probably awakened you in some way, too. But like you are the one that started making them realize the things that they need to realize to remove themselves from the situation that is terrible for them. And so that they can come into union with you. This had to happen this way. They're just like, why did I have to meet her right now? They or him right now. They had you guys had to meet right now to show them out of the situation. You had to shine the light on what needed to be, you know, they needed to see so that they could wake up and they could move, remove themselves from the situation. All right. Situation. All right. Situation.